Good afternoon and welcome to Parkway High School, where this afternoon WSN brings you the Parkway Volleyball Invitational. Our opening match today is the consolation match between the South Adams Starfires from Indiana and the Pandora Gilboa Rockets. My name is Mark Schein. It's my pleasure to do play-by-play. Alongside your color commentary, Chris Lutholt. Chris, we've got a team that they're both a one-and-one one coming into this particular match there, the consolation match. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, we have pool play today. So there's three teams in each pool. So these are the teams that came in second in each pool. So they'll be playing for third place. Pandora Gilboa Rockets are in red, and they will have first service from Lucy Hovist. South Adams in the black and the gold. And that kill will go to, looks like number 13, which is Cora Baker. What was that? 16, 16, we're up high, and that's Delaney Dunnick. And Delaney will go back to serve. South Adams with a 1-0 lead. The South Adams Starfires, Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Here's the set. And it'll be 2-0 in favor of South Adams. South Adams got here. They had opening set wins over Harden Northern today, 25-8, 25-8. And then they lost in their second match of pool play to Salina in a three-set match. A kill goes long on the attempt by Olivia Wise, and it's 3-0. And Mark... Uh South Adams, being in Indiana, they can start their season a little bit earlier. So, so they're seven and one coming into this weekend. Whereas uh, PG was, um, I think they were one and one coming in. Makes a difference this time of year, having played that many matches. As that serve goes long, started to, to fill that bracket out. Salina uh, defeated South Adams in their second match of the day. That was a very well played three set match, 25-23. South Adams won the middle set 25-18. Salina won the third set 25-19. And we'll get to Pandora in just a moment and how they got to this particular place. This is um, Madison Kling Kinkser served that one. And that ball was then played by Madison, but into the net and it goes to 4-1 in favor of South Adams. Of course, in these tournaments, we play best out of three as opposed to best out of five, which they play uh, when you're just playing one opponent on one day. This is Peyton Preeze who served that one. Played that ball right there, tipped over. Kill attempt, that goes off a blocker. And Nevaeh Alvarado with that kill, the freshman, makes it 4-2. That's her first kill in this uh, match. Corn Luganbill will serve. Corn's a 5-10 freshman. Just three seniors on this Rocket volleyball team this year. This kill attempt will be by Macy Priest. Macy and Peyton are sisters. They're a pair of cousins on the South Adams volleyball team. That will be Brooklyn and Graceland Bixler. They are cousins. Here's the set by Diller. Kill attempt. And that's going to be a point. Is that... Makaya Suter. That was number 16, Makaya yeah, Suter. Yeah, thought. Waiting to get or it. Michaela. Michaela getting a number for Michaela. And into service this time will be Miley Russell as we set high atop Panther Gymnasium here at Parkway. Miley Russell served that ball. There's the left handed kill attempt and the put away by Brooklyn Bixler, one of the two cousins we talked about moments ago. Four different girls have kills for South Adams already, just out of uh, five kills. Makes it 6-3. And to serve will be Shea Alberson. She's a junior. Close to an ace. Ball gets bumped over. And the big kill attempt put away by Priest. It's her second kill. Alberson to serve again. Our championship match that will follow this will be Salina. And they will match up with the Parkway Panthers. And that kill attempt goes long on the attempt by Olivia Kreischer. And it's 8-3. Favor of the team wearing black and gold. Good serve. 
Overpass, that gets put away. Macy Priest ended up with the ball on her side of the net, and she was able to just tomahawk that one away. In our pregame, I neglected to mention our officials today. On the stand is Kim, Kim Egbert, and on the floor is Steve Trout. Another good set of officials. We've seen good officials oh, all year so far, we Mark. Have. And trying to just bat it over as it got too close to the net was Chloe Somerset, and that point will go to Pandora. And the Rockets will go into service then, trailing by five. And the serve will be done by Peyton Diller. And a little bit of a missed time on the kill attempt by Grayson Bixler, and it makes it doubled up lead, 10-5, in favor of the Starfires. Diller will serve again, 5-3 sophomore. And that serve is short. Well, that's only our first missed serve out of uh, 15. Yeah, we had our scoreboard was incorrect for a while. It is 10-5 now. And there's our second missed serve, two in a row. Sometimes those things like the common cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they just get passed from one to the next. Here's our libero to serve. This is Autumn Schulte. 5-4 senior. So he has to play that one in the back row. Be bumped across by Wise. And then bumped over again by Diller. Kill attempt by Peyton Priest. Long point. This shot will be taken by Kreischer, and Olivia gets a point. And that's her first kill. 7-10, and Rockets climb back to trail by just three. That was a nice long rally. I like to watch those. Schulte to serve again. Good line drive serve. Priest. And hit out of the middle. That'll be a point. For Corin Luganbill, 5'10 freshman. A little bit of a run going here for the Rockets. And now Pandora Gilboa has four girls with a kill. They spreading it around a little bit. Yeah, both There's setters. Almost an ace. And Libero has to play it. A little bit of indecision on South Adams' part. Well, generally, you want the person facing the net to play that, but not always, so a little bit of confusion. That's why the person in the back row facing the net really needs to yell out, mine, mine, mine. Libero hits it from the back row that time, and unsuccessfully so by Jessica Myers, and we're tied at 10. Pandora Gilboa's got six out of the last seven points. Serve. Attempt to kill out of the back row by Cora Baker. And Pandora's taken a one-point lead. Five consecutive service points have been chalked up to Adam Schulte. And that's going to be an improper contact will be called against uh, Miley Russell. Oh, excuse me, against Peyton Sch Autumn Schulte. And we're back tied to 11. Here's the libero Myers to serve. A little joust at the net. Was somebody in the contact? There were. Looks like a red shirt in the net. Looks like number 11. That'd be Corin Luganbill. Myers serves again. And that one's an ace as it crawls across the top of the net and falls. Pandora Gilboa, of course, plays in two different conferences. They play in the Blanchard Valley Conference, and they also play in the Putnam County League. We saw Lipsick on Thursday night doing the same thing. Another ace. And the, and the Blanchard Valley Conference rotates their schedule, so every two years the teams uh, rotate forward, and then whoever you play first goes to the end. But in the Putnam County League, they don't rotate, so... Their schedule's the same year in and year out. Aaliyah Wise puts that one away, makes it 
Kind of some big news in the in the Blanchard Valley Conference this week. Liberty Benton lost a non-conference match. That doesn't happen in a long, long time. Well, they, I don't think they've lost. Uh, they have 30-0 last year, yeah. and, I, and I'm not sure exactly when that was, but it's been a while since they've lost. Uh, lost to Sylvania yeah. the other night. Yep. I believe the number I read was 32 consecutive regular season matches. Okay. I think, I think mm -hmm. was the number I read. Here's Olivia Kreischer to serve. And a little bit of discussion at the scorer's table. We're back at it. Rockets are down just a point. Back row attack from the libero, and she puts it in to Jessica Meyer. Now, she can do that, Chris, as long as her contact is below the height of the net. And as long as she's behind the spiking line. There you go. Thank you. Yep. So she's not very tall, so she might be able to have her full spike approach and be able to hit from back there. So she has a kill now, and that's six different girls from South Adams have kills. One of the official things the officials check out in warm-ups. You know, can that, can that libero get up high enough yeah. and watch them in warm-ups to see if, if it's something that uh, they can be aware of or not, or need to pay special attention to, I should say. Three-point lead, South Adams. Kill attempt by Alvarado and didn't get there, so it's now a four-point lead. That bump set was just a little bit too tight, a little bit too close to the net. The barrel from the other team, that's Schulte hits it, but she kind of got in contact with a teammate and it went sideways, and we're going to get our first timeout here in the opening set. This one called by the Pandora Yola Bull Rockets. They trail by five. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. We appreciate their support today. Five or four consecutive points for South Adams Starfires causes a timeout from head coach Ron, Ron Simmons. Service again. This will be Delaney Dunnick. Good serve. That's going to chalk up an ace. That's South Adams' third ace of this set. First one for Dunnick. A senior. And that one she left short. And PG will get the serve back. More volleyball action coming up this week on WOSM. We'll be down in Mac Country at St. Henry for a match on Thursday night that will air on Friday. And the serve will be Madison Kinsinger. Junior listed at 5'5. Five, five. Good block, but goes out of bounds. The kill attempt was by Peyton Priest. Block goes out of bounds. Back to South Adams Starfires. That's her second kill. And Priest will serve this ball. <laughs> kill attempt was by Cora Baker. Played back. And that ball was hit by... Corin Luganville, it got blocked back, and the point will go to South Adams. Seven point lead. <laughs> Seth, this is Alvarado, played by the Libero Myers. Kill attempt that time. Macy Priest. Oh, good run through. That point will go to Pandora, 21-15. Good run through, but the pass was passed too far. Here's Cora Luganbill. Kill attempt by Priest. That kill attempt was by Suter. And Libero hits it across, Myers. Alvarado off a blocker, and we're going to get a red shirt in the net. We did. The number six. Yeah, she, I think, on her follow through. Devea Alvarado. 
South Adams three points away from taking this opening set of our consolation match here. Ace. Chalk that one up to Cora Baker. Do you think wearing black and gold means that the South Adams would feel, feel comfortable in the Parkway Gymnasium? <laughs> There's lots of black and gold <laughs> yeah. in this gym, that's for sure. There's the home team will play in our next match. That ball's hit across by Diller. Priest hits that one, Macy Priest. That's going to be a point, and we're to set point. On our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard, it's 24-15 in favor of Parkway. Trying to close this opening set out. A little bit of an overpass and played by the libero Schulte and then bumped over by Kinsinger. And that kill and to put away will end up going to Macy Priest and the opening set of our consolation match will go to the South Adams Starfires 25-15. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Opening set. Went to the South Adams Starfires 25-15. Chris, that numbers from the first quarter, first section. Yeah, for South Adams, 10 kills led by Macy Priest with, with uh, three. And six different girls got a kill in that first set. Uh, they had four aces. Jessica Myers, the uh, libero, had two of those aces. And they had one block and two missed serves. For the Pandora Gaboa Rockets, they had five kills, one each by five different girls. Uh, no ace serves, no blocks, and one miss. Thank you for our stat numbers, Chris. Our second set coming up. This is the consolation match. The championship match will feature the Parkway Panthers and the Salina Bulldogs. That should be pretty good. I would think that's going to be a good match. We'll talk about... Uh, some successes that Parkway's had here recently when we get to that particular match. The opening serve will be by Dunnick. And a hit out of the middle and missed out of the middle by Corin Luganville. Well, you want to come out of that loss with a pass, set, and hit, which they did. So Pandora Gilboa had a good pass and a good set, so that, that's a positive there, but the ball was just hit out of bounds. Middle hitter trying to go to the left side of the floor. That's going to be a ball that falls on the court.
pressure. Reese again. Reese is getting a lot of action. That goes off the libero Schulte for a point. 11-6 in favor of the South Adams Starfires. That's her fifth kill in this match. And we're going to get a timeout by PG. They trail by five. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wallbash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. South Adams by 11 of 11 to 5. Ron Simmons calls a timeout. Let's see how PG comes out of the timeout. Their first here in set number two. That kill attempt was by Chloe Somerset. Entered a moment ago. Back row attempt by Peyton Priest. Block that time. This hit will be by Kreischer. And it will be a point in favor of the South Adams Starfires. To double it up now at 12-6. Official talking to Olivia Kreischer to make sure she's okay. And she says she is, so we'll play on. And we've got a timeout. This timeout will go to Pandora Gilboa. Probably the last timeout of this match because Pandora Gilboa has used both of them. But back in a moment, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Mark Labor on your calendar, the second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom All family of dealerships. The race begins at Sunnydale House, where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. We have more to celebrate as the launch of academies in Allen East and Spence will take place in September. Sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. And that kill attempt out of the middle was blocked back. Sooner tried to put that one away and could not. It goes to 13-6. I'm going to be at the uh, Elida 5K. I'm not running. I'm not walking. I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a, a course supervisor, okay, whatever that means. Yeah, well. But you can run it. You can walk it. Come out and enjoy the event. There's a kill out of the middle by Graceland Bixler. It's her second kill. And South Adams putting some distance away as they've scored six consecutive points, five of them by the service of Shea Alberson. Well, if you have weather for that like we got today, that'll oh, be a great be, day. It certainly will be. 15-6. One of the great places here in Northwest Ohio's LifeWise Academy has taken off at so many places. Hit out of the left corner that time by Macy Priest. They saved it. Nice play. And they got it nice over. Nice job by yeah. PG. How about Schulte that? ran that ball down nicely. And then they get a well, kill out of yeah. the back row. <laughs> that goes to Peyton Priest. But the initial play, that was quite a movement there by Schulte to get to play that one. And then they got it over. But kind of left them out of position a little bit. And South Adams still gets a point out of it. They lead by 10. Macy Priest hit that one. That's going to be, nope, they kept it alive. Nice job. Pushed it over. Good run through. That push by, was by Peyton Diller, the setter. And then on the attempted kill, Macy Priest hits it into the tape, and the long run comes to an end. Eight consecutive points chalked up by South Adams to take a, a lead of 10, and now it's at nine. There's a kill out of the middle by Grayson Bixler. That's her second kill on this set, third overall. And South Adams is back to a 10-point lead again. Macy Priest will serve this ball. Pushed by Kreischer. Kill attempt, and it goes off of Schulte this time as Chloe Somerset makes contact at the net and scores for her team. 11-point lead. And seven different girls now for South Adams have kills. 
one of those situations where <clears throat> Coach Ashley Buckingham can get a couple of those extra girls in play of those 10 that she brought with her today. This attempt will be by Wise. And a really nice hit out of the corner this time by Peyton Priest. Made solid contact with that one. And it's 19-7. Parkway and Salina to follow. Schulte's going to set that from the back row. Hit over by Wise. This one will be Peyton Priest. Kreischer. And then on the attempted kill, Peyton Priest, the senior, hits it long, and PG gets control of the volleyball. But trail by 11. Here's Adam Schulte to serve. Hits it to her counterpart, Jessica Meyer. Kreischer. And Priest, and she's going to get a kill that time for Peyton. That's her third kill in the set, fifth overall. And South Adams really on a roll here in the second set. Yeah, they really are. When it was 8-6, it's now become 20-8. Now 21-8. PG had got it to 8-6, to and since that time, they've been outscored to make it 21-8. That hit and kill at the net by Corin Lukenbill. Breaks the string. 21-9. And that's her second kill in this match. Nevea Alvarado will enter, and also entering to serve will be Lucy Hovest. Lucy's a 5-5 sophomore. And the kill out of the middle. That's a big hit in the middle for Cora Breaker. Cora, Cora plays a little unusual position. She plays middle hitter in the front, and then I think in two rotations, she does the setting in the back. You don't see middles and setters. Middles yeah. play the setter position very often. It can be pretty exhausting. There's a block at the net. That one was by Wise. And then, is it in? It is. Kill on the far side comes from Shea Alberson. South Adams is a couple of points away from taking the consolation match today. That will be an ace serve that we can chalk up to Delaney Dunnick. And we are at set point match point. That's her first ace. No, excuse me, second ace. Delaney, a senior, one of five on the South Adams team. See who they go to to put it away in the middle of court. And missing on the sideline is Cora Baker. Brooklyn Bixer, Bixer will re-enter. Madison Kinsinger re-enters. Kelly Neuenschwander will enter. So a lot of substitutions here on this particular point. And trying to go down towards the end line was Corin Luganbill. It was not touched. And with that, South Adams will take a 25 to 10 victory in our final set today. They will finish two and one today. They had wins over Harden Northern 25-8, 25-8. And a three set loss to Salina 25-23. They won the middle set 18-25, lost the final set 25-19. The Pandora Gilboa Rockets, they lost to Parkway early. Both sets were 25-9, 25-9. Then they defeated Elida, 25-19, 25-9, 25-21. And then they will lose this one today in two sets. The first one, 25-15, the second, 25-10. Any final numbers, Chris? Yeah, South Adams, they really served well today with five aces. Five ace serves, they were led by Jessica Myers with three. Several girls each had at least one uh, service ace. They also had 20 kills. 
Uh, uh, eight different girls got kills for South Adams. They were led by Macy Priest with five and Peyton Priest with five also. For Pandora Gilboa, they had seven kills, two each by Corinne Luganbill and by Michaela Suter. Uh, no blocks, they only missed one serve, and uh, stats definitely favored South Adams. Certainly do. We want to thank Wabash Mutual Score, uh, Wabash Mutual Telephone for sponsoring our scoreboard this afternoon. They are a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. We want to thank Lexi Waddle, Cassidy Driscoll. They put this together here at Parkway. And Nick Fraley edited it back at the station. Championship match, Salina and Parkway coming up next. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Good afternoon. Welcome to Parkway High School. It's the finals of the Parkway Invitational Volleyball Tournament this afternoon. Host team will be in the finals. That would be the Parkway Panthers, and they are playing the Salina Bulldogs. My name is Mark Shines. My players to play by play. Alongside our color commentary, keep stats for us is Chris Luthold. Chris, we are here in this match, and each of them were 2-0 and in pool play. I mean, kind of an interesting matchup, I think. It will be, and we talked earlier about how this might be a pretty good match. First of all, if you're Parkway, you want to win this on your home court. Your home crowd is here, so it's something you've got a lot of incentive for. And, you know, just as much for an away team to snatch a tournament victory from somebody in, on their home court. So a lot of incentive for both teams. How did they get here? The Salina Bulldogs wearing green today. Uh, they defeated Harther Northern 25-12 and 25-8. And then South Adams 25-23. They lost the middle set 25-18 and won the final set 25-19. Parkway, they had a couple of straight sets victory. They defeated Pandora Gilboa 25-9 and 25-9. And then they defeated Elida 25-20 and 25-17. Steve Trotter's our R1. He's up on the platform today. On the floor will be Kim Egbert, our R2. And we are ready for championship volleyball from Parkway. This is Macy Johnson to serve. Parkway wearing their black jerseys today. We got 13 seniors in uniform today. So this is both veteran teams. Eight seniors from uh, uh, Parkway and five from Salina. That ball is blocked at the net. Back, blocked back by Britt Bruns. He's just a 5'7", a freshman, and Parkway scores the first points of the game. She looked really thrilled to get that block, she, didn't she? <laughs> yes, absolutely. And service once again, Johnson. Jordan Hinkle is the... Coach of the Parkway Panthers and Phil Bangy coaches the Salina Bulldogs. And what do we get? We got illegal contact, two hits, and it will be tied at one. Parkway's libero in the white jersey is Allison Schwederman. Excuse me, Salina's libero is Allison Schwederman in the white jersey. You see her in the middle of the floor, right on the 10 foot line. And that's the libero for Parkway. And she bumps it across, does Meg Hinkle. I'll keep playing until the whistle yeah, blows. Keep going. Set. This kill attempt's going to be by Bruns. Here's the libero sets. And left-handed kill attempt goes long. That was missed by Peyton Berkey. 2-1 Parkway. And to serve will be that freshman, Britlin Bruns. Listed at 5'7". He's the setter, Berkey. And big hit played by Hinkle. That kill attempt was by Brooklyn Bourne. And ends up being a Salina point. We're tied at two to serve at the board. Got a lot of enthusiasm from both benches. Of course, they had a chance to rest a bit after pool play and get something to eat, so they're fresh to get on the floor here. This hit will be by Amelia Lutz. Push attempt by Emily Emory Temple, and then the ball goes long. Or was it touched? 
It was. Ava Kanapke gets the point. That's her first kill. Second kill for Salina. This is Brooklyn born to serve. Played by Hinkle. Hit over by Lutz. And that pass a little long. Good dig at the net by Bruns. And then the set goes over the head of Amelia Lutz as she kind of mistimed the play and we're tied at three. But Bruns did make that play. You notice that as soon as she saw it was going to go into the net, she went right down to the floor to get ready to play it. If you race it to the floor, the ball wins every time. So you have to be down already. Keeping it alive on the pushover by Hughes. And Slida gets the point. Back and forth we go, slided by a point. And here's Samantha Jenkins in. Samantha wears 19 and she will go to serve. She replaced Ava Kanapke. Hit that time by Stober. And just coming into the game, Samantha Jenkins after serving, and then she put it long. We're tied at four. Slina has scored, scored two consecutive points once. Parkway has not been able to string two points together yet. And yet it's tied. It is. And off the tape and scoring is Amelia Lutz. And that's her second kill. See in the background, the hard Northern Panthers coming through the gym. They were in the fifth and sixth place game in our other facility here. Here's the left-handed serve by Berkey. And that point will go to, I think it was Macy Johnson got the block. Is that who you had, Chris? Uh, I, think, I think it was, yeah. And that's their second block in this set. A couple of bodies there at the net. And... Emery Niddle serves this ball. And hitting the ball through the blocker that time is Miley Sapp. And back and forth we go. Four different girls uh, have kills for Slyon out of their six points. Only one time today as a team one service. Every other time it's been give the ball up to the other team as Lutz serves. There's a point for her as Bruns leaves the ball in the net. And for the first time today, somebody has a two-point lead in the form of Salina, 7-5. Set. Bruns just rolls it across that time. Here's Berkey's going to set this one. Kill attempt by Bourne. Not that time. Really, Sunderhouse will enter. The libero will serve. That's Meg Hinkle. Hinkle has to set this one. And then the kill attempt that was attempted by Emery Temple goes long and out of bounds. And ball goes back to Salina. Yeah, she's one of the two freshmen on the floor right now for Parkway. Their libero will serve. This is Allison Schwederman. This two-handed dump, but does a really nice job. That's a pretty heads-up play by a freshman, Bruns, to find a spot on the floor that was vacant. It's her first Johnson. kill. Hits that one. And Bruns tries to tip it over and ends up doing a double contact. Nice dig, though, in the back row. It was, yeah. 
comes Sarah Gisagi into the game to serve. Both teams have subbed a lot, it seems like, uh, Chris. You get 18 per set. See if that continues. We've only gotten to 16 total points. Kill was by Gabriel, Gabrielle Stoner, Stober. Well, you don't see teams running out of substitutes very much anymore. At one time, uh, if you were before the libero, uh, teams would have to start planning about what to do when when you got to about substitute number 16, about what am I going to do, who's going to stay in, and who's going to come out. Oh, good pancake that time by Bruns. Here's the set, kill attempt. That's blocked. Let's give that one to Gabrielle Stober. And for the first time in this set, Parkway has scored consecutive points and one off a serve. And that's their third block. Tied at nine. A really nice play by Runs to get the pancake. He's going to set this one. And it was set far off the net, and Emory Temple couldn't do anything with it. So Salina goes back up by one. That came off her hands a little bit goofy. Amelia Lutz enters back to serve. For Salina will be Brooklyn Bourne. Emery Middle will get that point as she got it through the two blockers. And that's her first kill. Give the assist to Macy Johnson on that. This is Jacobs to serve. Good play by Macy Johnson. Dig that one. Then she hits that ball and she hit it long from behind the 10 foot line. Well, through the first 21 points, neither team's been able to pull out much of a lead or be able to string a, a very many points together. Salina has been ahead by two, three different times. They lead by one now. That hit was by Niddle. This one will be by Lutz. And it goes long. Buckley gets the ball back. Panthers tied up at 11. Their serve this time will be Gabrielle Stober, 5'11 senior. Parkway plays in the MAC, of course. They have won three MAC championships. Hit that goes long that time by Lutz. Sly, I thought there might have been a touch, yeah. but uh, none of the four officials saw it, so we'll go with their call. Parkway led 1-0 and 2-1. This is their first lead since that time. It's 12-11. Miss? Yes, it did. Attempted to go down the line was Lutz. She missed it that time. Parkway by two. Stober serves. Wow. Well, right there was Addison, Allison Hughes and Macy Johnson. And four consecutive Parkway points forces a Salina timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. The scoreboard shows Parkway scoring the last four points to take a three-point lead. And after finishing their officiating duties in the other gymnasium, Dan Cook and Stephen McCrary will come in and be our line judges today. So thank you to the parents who were doing that prior to, but now we've got some guys with licenses doing it. Puckway trying to go up with another attempt right here, and she hit the line. Oh, the ball was touched at the net is the call. So a touch on Salina will give the point to Parkway and make it 15-11. Not sure whether the ball was going to land on the line anyway or not, but it goes out of bounds off of the Bulldogs. And they lead by four. Here's a set. 
Kill, Johnson, what do we got? Somebody from the green team's in the net. Couple of calls have gone against Salina. They're not too happy, but sometimes that can, can uh, bolster your enthusiasm and your play. Slapped over by Lutz, and then a big hit right out of the middle by Macy Johnson, the 5'11 senior. That's just her first kill, but five different girls from Parkway have kills. At one point, Parkway trailed 11 to 10. They now lead 17 11 as Stober serves. Keep it alive, and then the hit, a big play out of the middle by Peyton Berkey. Typically, she sets that, Chris, but that time she just wound up and let have at it. Well, she's left-handed, so when she's in the front row, she, you know, I would encourage her to do that as often as possible. Of course, now she's going back to serve, so she won't be able to do that, at least not in front of the spiking line. Seven consecutive points by Parkway, and there's an ace. First ace of the match. Peyton Berkey trying to will her team back into this. She serves again. Hinkle played it off the net. And trying to get the two-handed push across was Emery Niddle, but she wasn't able to succeed, and the lead is down to three. Berkey serves. Hinkle has to play that one. Johnson. Maddie Johnson, uh, Macy Johnson is having a wonderful opening set. It's only her second kill, but she's had a block or two, and she had that assist earlier. She's yeah. had a great dig in the back row, a little bit of everything. Here's Niddle. Her team leads by four in the opening set. Almost crawled that one across the top of the tape. It didn't go for her. Three-point lead, and to serve. Amelia Lutz. Did she miss? She did. Trying to go cross court that time. Is Johnson. She missed, and Sly has got the lead back to just two. Runs hit that one. Back set, but it goes long off the kill attempt by Evie Holstead. And it's 19-16 Panthers. Thank Wabash Mutual Telephone for sponsoring our scoreboard today. Big supporter of Mercer County Athletics, and we thank them for doing that. Here's service by Hinkle for Libero and Illegal time. No, she stepped across the, the middle line, didn't she? So uh, you, yeah, you, I, I didn't see it, but yeah, that's what that, they could that was call. The call. Yeah. Yep. If you have any part of your foot on the line, it's okay, but got her entire foot across the line. Four point lead, Parkway. And that kill was by Holstead. That's her first kill, so that now makes six different girls from Salina with kills. Five different girls from Parkway with kills. The setters are really spreading the ball around pretty well. The libero, Schwederman. Block. Well, good play by Schwederman to keep it alive, but her teammates couldn't scramble enough to get it up off the floor. So it's 21-17 now, Parkway. And here's the senior we've been talking about some this opening set, Macy Johnson, to serve. Berkey sets, back set this time, played by Niddle. And then a kill out of the middle by Ava Kanapke. 2018, the difference has been that seven-point run that Parkway was able to put together in the middle portion of this set. Sarah Gisagi to serve. Yeah, that's seven. That's really the only time any team's been able to put a run together. Salinas has had a couple of two- and three-point runs. Hence the leads at three. Berkey, and she left it short in the net. 
Well, but we talked about that earlier when she's in the front row being left-handed. You know, I'd encourage her to do that a lot. That time it just went into the net. And we get a timeout. 22-18 Parkway trying to close out the opening set. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone else in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Parkway needs three to win the opening set. They will serve from Britland Bruns. Bookie sets. And out of the middle, kill by Ava Kanapke. No, she didn't hit that real solidly, which worked to their favor. I, it would looked like a little bit of a tip, if, but I, I don't think she intentionally did that, but sometimes that works out. I think she wanted to hit that pretty hard, but just, just went off a little bit goofy. Slide has been in the Western Buckeye League for 46 seasons. This is season number 47. Wow. In those first 46, they've won 26 league championships. And that kill right there shows you why as Amelia Lutz winds up and lets it go. Her team is back within two. That's her third kill. They have used both of their timeouts to get to this point. And Brooklyn Bourne serves this ball. At 46 years, that, that's almost, well, that would be back to the beginning of girls' sports in OHSAA, wouldn't it be? It would be right around that general time frame. So, yeah, it's probably right. Stober hit that one over. Tip. And what do we got? Illegal contact, we do. Amelia Lutz tried to find the open spot on the left side of the Parkway defense and instead gives up a point. To serve will be Maddie Jacobs, 5'6", senior for Parkway. <laughs> Trying to go cross court with Kanapke. She missed and Parkway is a point away from taking the opening set. Kanapke again. This one's played by uh, Jake Johnson. Good save. Lutz hits it over. And it went outside the antenna. And Parkway wins the opening set 25-20. Second set action coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Parkway 25-20 opening set. Chris Little has stats. Uh, first of all, for Salina, they had 10 kills. Three by Amelia Lutz, three by Ava Kanapke, one ace serve. That was from Peyton Berkey. They had one block, no missed serves. For Parkway, seven kills. They were led by Macy Johnson with three and then a host of girls with one. And they had one ace serve, and that was by Meg Henkel. They did have four blocks and uh, one miss serve. Thank you very much for that, Chris. Before we get into second set, Parkway had a record breaker last night. Actually, two of them. They defeated North Central in football, and Eddie Nichols rushed for 264 yards. That's a Parkway school record. Had a 99-yard run in that as well, and that was the longest run in Parkway school history. So congratulations, Mr. Nichols, and... Fellow Parkway Panther gets a kill at the net, and that makes it 1-0 Parkway. 99, that's pretty good. That's not bad. A little hard to run farther than that. Yeah. Kanapke tries to tip it across. She cannot. Stober got that one. Did, did Gabrielle Stober get the first point also? I, I was, think that was, um, yes. That's what I thought. Yep. So she's got a couple of points here in set two. Run serves. Blocked again by Stober. And it gets over, and Stober's going to hit it again. Boy, is she having an opening set. Her opening set, set of points here in the set number two. Yeah, two kills already gives her three overall. You know, Mark, on that 99-yard run in high school, unless they've changed the rule in high school, you can't run anything out of an end zone. So if you intercept a pass or if you receive a kickoff in the end zone, uh, you can't run that out, so there can't be any 108-yard returns yeah. or anything. So 99 is as long as it can be. 
4-0 Parkway, spoken by a guy who kept stats for Corey Ross of football for how many years? Um, 40, uh, I got to think, <laughs> 45 or 46. Uh, a whole bunch of them. Yeah, but I haven't missed any games since uh, since I started there. So last night was number 487. How about that? 487 consecutive. And that goes through COVID. That goes through COVID. Yeah. I, got it. I was able to get in somehow to the COVID games, yeah. Parkway with a quick 4-0 lead. There's some fences that have holes in them. I know where all the holes <laughs> yeah. are in the fences. That came up short into the tape. Brooklyn Bourne tried to get it across the net, whether she did or not, or whether it was came back from a Parkway contact at the net. Either way, Parkway with a quick 5-0 lead. Panthers off to a good start here in set number two. Kanapke tips. Runs pushes to the backcourt. And that's oh. going to end up being a point. Yeah, smart play. And with that, right away, Parkway with a quick 6-0 lead. Salina with a timeout. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Parkway. Panthers take a quick 6-0 lead here in set number two. And coming out of the timeout, they get a point. That kill went to Ava Kanapke. And that breaks a 6-0 run by Parkway to start set number two. Yeah, I think this, the timeout was, let's get the ball to Ava. There's the kill. That's the way to come out of a timeout. Bourne serves this ball. Hinkle, from libero plays it. And that kill off a blocker by Emery Temple. She's a freshman. That's just her first kill. She plays with a lot of enthusiasm. So the serve goes right back to the hot Parkway Panthers. Here's the serve. Brookie has to tip it across, and it went outside the antenna. She didn't get a very good pass, did she, Chris? No, just kind of an emergency play. That ball has to pass over the net completely within the antennas, or the antennas extended. Good kill that time by Lutz, and she gets a point out of it. So it's 8-2. Good effort, though, by Niddle to get over there and play that ball. You keep on going until the ball hits the floor. This will be Samantha Jenkins to serve this ball. Parkways. Gets the ball right back again. So Salina's has not been able to score off service in this set. Kanapke re-enters, and then the libero takes her place. And miss served this time by Parkway's Stober. Well, only three miss serves in this entire match. Uh, two of them just happened. Hmm. Peyton Brookie served that ball, and then she got it in. I'm trying to see if she got to the sideline or not. Macy Johnson puts it away. Kill number four for her. Niddle will serve this ball. Guts. Block. Got Slina keeping the ball alive. That one's blocked, but it goes blocked outside the antenna. The kill attempt was by Allison Hughes. The block came back outside the antenna. Parkway up eight. Little will serve again. Attempted block at the net on the kill by uh, Miley Sapp. Doesn't go, and Salina gets the ball back. This will be their fourth service opportunity. Let's see if they score a point off this one. And we get Salina Bulldog into that. I think and that was born, I think. No part of the body can touch the net except hair. Yep. And if the ball pushes the ball, the net into the player, then that's not a violation. 
McHinkle, the libero, served that ball. And coming back with a kill on the far side of the court is Evie Holstead. That's her fifth, uh, third kill. All of Salinas points in this set have come on kills, which means that Parkway has played airless ball. Schwederman. Chance for Salinas to score off a of service, but it's blocked. Oh, good play by Bourne. Good save that time at the net by Stober. Perky hit it long. Parkway has kept that lead between seven and eight points for the last several possessions here. Johnson serves, 5'11 senior. The kill to Evie Holstead, the ball goes off a blocker out of bounds. And that's her fourth, and she's tied with Lutz and Kanapke for the most kills for Salina. Macy Johnson has four kills for Parkway. Gisagi will serve this ball, Sarah does. Good footwork. To Hinkle. Block. And illegal contact. The hit was by Ava Kanapke, it got blocked, and then the Attempted play at the net was illegally contacted. So for the first time in this set, Salinas scores off of serve. Slide, kill, good play by Schwederman. Kept it alive, then she bumps it over and she did so illegally. Chris, that's a play that officials have been told to be very conscious of, that two-handed push across the net and making sure you do it legally. There's uh, some concern among the state that that had been, that ball's blocked out of bounds on the kill attempt by Bourne, that that play was being done illegally, pushing it over with one hand and then the other. And that's kind of a point of emphasis. The ball st sticks in the hand or hands too long. Is yeah. that the, yeah, or, okay. or one push and then a stronger push with the other hand. Oh, I see. If you're scoring yep. points on on that, that you know, it's on an illegal play. That was kind of a point of emphasis a year ago. Block. Here's a set from behind the ten foot line and leaving it short into the net was Johnson. Slina scores again. They have scored four out of the last five points in this set to get back within five. Roll shot. In the attempted kill to get a Parkway Panther. Was it in the net or did her foot go across the line? I'm, oh, I'm not, not sure. sure. Yeah. The, that might have been on Brun. She was very close to the net. And she might have been in the net or it might have been the foot. I didn't see the call whether it was net or whether it was a line violation. Either way, it's a line of point. Tip. Two-handed push by Bruns. And Bruns has to play that ball. That was Niddle trying to push it across, and she got caught for a double contact. Salina getting back in it. They trail by just three. Being down by as many as eight. Well, yeah, nice thing about playing to 25, you could be down eight early in the, in the set and come back and make it close, and they're doing that. Not counting that serve right there. 15-11. Maddie Jacobs, 5'6", senior, will serve for Parkway and coach, coach Jordan Hinkle. And off the block, we're going to get a point that will go to Ava Kanapke. That's her fifth kill. 15-12. Samantha Jenkins becomes the server for Coach Phil Bangy.
throw goes to Amelia Lutz. 15-13, here come the Bulldogs, and it's time for Buckway to take a timeout. They still lead by two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Season 18 of the Sports Report, starting Friday night last week. Check join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. It's always a fun show to watch. It is. Patrick and the people out there running all over trying to get highlights from 20 football games every Friday night. Coming out of the timeout, we get a kill. That one goes to Stober. So Coach Hinkle got just exactly what he wanted to push his lead back up to three. Mark Stober is another one that today is a setter in the back row and a middle hitter in the front row. It's Again, it's an odd combination. Off a of blocker. That kill went to, I think it was number six, right? Yeah, Miley, Miley Sapp. Sapp. I yep. thought it was. Checking to make sure when she turned around in celebration. Judy Holstead just entered as Berkey goes back to serve. Middle. Berkey sets. Middle pushes that across with two hands and missed the sideline. We have a one-point set. Berkey serves. Here's that set you talked about. A tip. Really nice placement of the ball by Johnson. She picks up her fifth kill. Middle will serve this one. A little action to wipe up some moisture on the floor. Berkey's got the talent. She's really what you want, uh, Chris. I know you've talked about this before. A tall girl who's also left-handed and is a setter. Yeah, it's a rare combination. And if you're a coach, you, you're loving that the whole time. Remember from last year, you know, same thing last year. But a left-hander in the front row, that setter's going to play on the right side. That's a natural hitting spot for a left-hander. So... You know, she can jump, set, act like she's going to set it, and then at the last minute drop that right hand down and, and, and hit the ball. Sets that time. She's a back row player now. Here's that set by Stober you talked about a moment ago. Bruns hits it. Sweeterman saves it. Little Barrow Hinkle sets this one. And from behind the 10-foot line, that ball goes off the middle as we get a kill from Bourne from the back row. 17-16. Final score is this point. They will have come all the way back on an eight-point deficit. But Johnson says no. She bangs it off the libero. Well, good choice to go to her. She's having a nice game, both front row and back row. It's her sixth kill. Meg Hinkle, 5-4 junior, serves this one. And she missed the sideline. 18-17. It's only the third miss serve for Parkway. Allison Schwederman chases the ball down the hallway and comes back to serve. Sweetman played that one. Horn. And they're tied at 18. And Brooklyn Bourne now has four kills. At one point trailing. 11 to 4. After Parkway scored the first six points. We're now tied at 18. And illegal, yeah, it was illegal contact, and Slime has taken the lead, 19-18. Schwederman serves again. And 
Johnson just finds a hole in the middle of the floor and ties it at 19. And she's tipped it twice for kills now, seven kills overall. Well, it's one of those, Chris, we've talked about many times, you're expecting the fastball and you get the change up and everybody's just kind of flat-footed. And here she is to serve, Johnson, Macy. Run sets that, Stober, big hit out of the middle for her. Coming right back, the Parkway Panthers now lead by one. Well, Stober. Stober's got four kills now in this set. Stober hits that one, back-to-back -back kills for her. I really like her spike approach coming in the middle. Very long strides. Uh, just, just really well done. Had that timed really well, didn't she? She did. Well, we get a timeout. I had made a mistake earlier. One of the timeouts had been called by Parkway. That was called by Salina. 21-19 Parkway. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Parkway, where today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And well, that was the second timeout by Salina. Parkway called one back at 15-13 uh, when they were still ahead. So they have used their two timeouts, have the green and white. Parkway still has one left. And we got yep, the legal block. Well, the ball was passed up really tight to the net up near the top, and there's nothing Berkey could do about that. She's a back row player, had to reach high to get to that one, and as you said, there's nothing she could do with it. Horn goes off a blocker, tipped by Bruns. Horn again. Cross court we go, and she put it in, she did. Emery Temple gets a kill. Parkway, 23-19, they've scored the last five points since they trailed 18-19. Trying to serve it out. Good line drive serve, just cleared the net. Berkey sets, born again. And she rolls it across the tape and stops the run. That's Bourne's fourth kill in this set, fifth overall. Sarah Gisigi, the sophomore, will enter to serve. Serena needs a run. Block. Good block at the net. That one will go to Ava Kanapke. Kisagi again. And her serve is just long. Very close to the end line, but it went long. And here's Parkway, a point away from winning the Parkway Volleyball Invitational for 2022. Run serves. Kanapke says, not yet. Ava Kanapke out of the center, puts that one away, and Bourne will go to serve. Her team trails by two. Stober puts it away and Puckway wins. The Parkway Panthers win the 2022 Volleyball Invitational here in their own facility. They do so with a 25-20 and 25-22 victories over the Salina Bulldogs. Salina will end the day with uh, two wins and a loss. Parkway will have three wins on the day. And you can see a very happy group of young ladies at center court. Chris, you have any final numbers? I do. Let's go with Parkway first. They ended up with uh, 20 kills. They were led by uh, Gabrielle Stober with seven, six in the second set. And Macy Johnson also had seven. They had five blocks for points and missed just three serves. 
Uh, Salina ended up with 24 kills, and they were led by Ava Kanapke with six. She had three in each set, and Brooklyn Bourne had five, and so did Amelia Lutz. They ended up with just two blocks and two missed serves, and only five missed serves overall for the whole match. Uh, pretty well played, and um, uh, actually a pretty exciting uh, tournament championship. It was for the fact, Parkway 25, 20, 25, 22. I thank the athletic director, Mr. Doug Hughes, who puts this thing together. Our camera people today, Lexi Waddle, Cassidy Driscoll. This will be edited back at the station by Nick Fraley. We're going to try to get an interview with the winning coach, Jordan Hinkle. If we can do so, we'll continue. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Parkway with winning coach, Jordan Hinkle. Jordan, 3-0 today, championship in 2022. How would your girls play today? I um, thought we did a really good job. First couple matches, just getting our bearings for the day. And then that last match, definitely the intensity kicked up and just sighted out a lot right away, made some good plays, had a couple of long runs to kind of give us the lead getting to 20 and then relax a little bit to finish out this match. So. Well, Coach, early in the season, we talked about senior play. You had great contributions from two of them today. How about Macy Johnson, her play on the floor today? Yeah, she really put the ball away and stepped up. Um, we have eight seniors on the roster, so it's nice to have girls that have been in that situation times and we haven't always finished, but we've learned from that and it is good to have that experience and go with that. Coach, you use uh, Gabrielle Stober in a couple of different ways. She's a hitter, she's a setter, and she's a senior who had a great day as well. Yep, she's a great athlete. She kind of does it all for us. She can do um, a lot of everything um, and a great leader for us and one the girls can go to and count on. So, Well, Mac play starts this week. What are you looking for this week out of your team? Um, just keep getting better, keep improving. We've had a girl get hurt Tuesday yeah. night, and so you just We've adjusted the lineup and hasn't always been pretty this week, but we've won and we keep getting better. And you know, when you play MAC teams, are always physical and great defense and blocking and hitting and just great serve, receive, ball control. Jordan Hinkle, thanks very much for with us today, Coach. Thank you. We're finished from Parkway. Parkway wins the Parkway Invitational today with straight set wins over Salina. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.